Guys, this is the Sminify Podcast, episode number 14. How is everybody doing today? It is currently, what day is it? It's literally, I have no notes or nothing. It's literally Saturday, 10.52 p.m. I just got done streaming Among Us for the first time ever. It was really like my fourth time playing Among Us, and it was literally like my best stream ever. And you guys know when you're just on your high, like say like you're on your high. Say you're like in the gym, you're shooting threes, you know? You just got to keep going when you're on a hot streak. So I literally just got done with that stream. I talked to everybody on the Discord. We had... 13 people joined the Discord today, I think, which is just absolutely incredible for our Discord server. We currently have like 160 members. We had 150. Today has just been such an insane day. I streamed twice. And when you look at it, this whole week, honestly, has just been so good for the channel. And what I've actually decided to do is I'm trying to get back into like uploading every single day. I think this week I actually made a video every single day. And I figured the best way to end the week or to start the next week is literally with a Spinify podcast. Because, guys, I haven't made one of these. Hold on. I should probably make sure I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording. I haven't made one of these in like a month and it it really is disappointing to me because the okay I've never I, I literally listen to these things for fun if you guys remember when I started I told myself I'm mainly doing this podcast for me I don't know if you guys if you guys are gonna find interest in these at all but literally I went back and watched and listened to a couple of these when I was working in the tractor and I loved them like I like I did I would say I like loved them loved them but they they were really enjoyable to me to see what I thought I listened to one where I was at like 50 subs I was like yo guys thank you for 10 likes it was crazy and now here we are. We just had a stream today. We have like over 300 views on it now. And it is like a two-hour stream. It has like 45 likes. And it's just so crazy to see that amount of improvement. Which is why, again, guys, if you can, just, just start a podcast. Like, I, I don't know if everybody's as interested in me. I say this literally every single podcast. I am just so interested to like look back on my future past and see where I was. And that's why I just love doing this thing. But podcasts for me are so overwhelming, which is why I haven't made them. Now, this is going to be coming out tomorrow. And again, I'm just on a hot streak right now. I literally didn't have plan on doing this at all. But what was it? I'm just going to say who it was. I think it was, I believe it was Poppy Unicorn. Yo, Poppy, if you're listening right now, Poppy Unicorn 489, he goes to Sminify Podcast number 13. And he comments, man really says weekly. I don't know if that's going to focus, but he said, man really says weekly. I think he was referring to like how often I upload a podcast. And he said, like in that video, I was like, yo, I upload one every week. And bro, it's been literally a month since I've uploaded one of them. And that's so disappointing because I've literally so much has changed in that month. I've started school. I remember the night when school started. I, I was like Sunday night or something. I had so much time to start a podcast. I literally could have done it. I had plans to do it live. I told people, I was like, yo, I'm going to do a live podcast tonight. I was kind of looking forward to it. And then I just get to that time and I'm just like, no, I'm just not going to do it. I don't know why I didn't do it. It just comes back to me being like the thought of talking for like an hour. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I just literally sat down. I was like, I'm going to record an episode for tomorrow. This week has been so good for me. You guys have been so supportive. So many new members. If you if you guys are new to the podcast, by the way, welcome to the Spinify podcast. I hope I'm not talking too fast for now. I'm just like really excited, honestly. Like I said, I'm just hitting all the three porters in the gym right now and I'm still on that hot streak. So I'm just, I'm just going, I'm rolling with the podcast. And yeah, I think it's, it's got something to do with this. It's just been a really good week, but yo, I've said this before, but podcasts are just so overwhelming. Like, I don't know how long this one's going to be because if you think about it, sitting down and talking for an hour is so long. Like, think about how many words you say in an hour, and you got to sit down and talk for that entire hour and like try to entertain people. I don't really know if I'm really trying to entertain you guys with these podcasts. If you think they're if you think they're interesting, bro, I legit can't even speak. I'm like on something right now. I'm so excited. If you think they're interesting, that's great. But of course, at the end of the day, I'm just doing these for myself because I looked back on like episode like five or something, and I was like, bro, that's crazy to see where I was and see where I'm at. We're back with the podcast episode number 14. How is everybody doing? All right, yo. Yo, we got to talk about stuff. Should we talk about this week on YouTube? Because this week has been so good. Okay, so I started school a few weeks ago, all right? I think I'm on my third or fourth week already. By the way, senior year, already one month down. What am I going to do with the rest of my life? I don't know. That's, that is a scary thought. Honestly, there's only like, I have like eight months. I feel like, like, I have this feeling I have to get my life figured out soon. Like, no, I feel like nobody has their life figured out really going into college, but bro, I'm like legit, I'm legit. Just, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Honestly, when I think about it, all right, my parents were like, yo, what do you want to do with your life? I don't say it out loud because it's something that like, it's something that people will shoot down instantly. But at the end of the day, I think I have this like good ability to make videos and like do live streams and stuff. And at the end of the day, here's the ultimate goal, all right? Here's the perfect, the picture perfect ideal outcome with my life, all right? I use this ability that I have, which I think is decent, to make YouTube videos. And those videos entertain millions worldwide, on like millions. That, that's the goal, millions of people worldwide. And then, of course, that'd be like a source of revenue, really. So did I just say I want to be a YouTuber? Honestly, that's the dream job. Like, I legit just have to say that. That is the dream job. Ever since I was young, I always wanted to just make videos. And, like, I don't want to have people, like, restrict me what to do. Like, I was like, should I edit, like, big movies or something? No, because then I feel like I'd be told what to do. I just want to be a YouTuber because then I can make my own videos. 
So yeah, there it is. I'm literally just going to say that. That's that's probably true, like very obvious at this point. But like that is the legit dream job if I could make money making videos. I don't know if that'd get boring, like being self-employed and like not going out and about a whole lot because I feel like making YouTube videos is just a lot of staying inside and not really interacting with people. Which when you look at it, I'm a pretty big introvert, but even if I don't interact with people forever, I'm going to be going crazy. But yeah, man, that's crazy. And yeah, that is the ultimate goal. What am I going to do with my life? Hey, that's why we're doing a podcast because in nine months from now, if I'm still in this exact spot, I'm like, bro, what are you going to do? I'm going to look back at this and be like, wow, I really haven't changed much, have I? And it's just such an interesting concept. So yeah, there it is. And yo, great week. Like I said, I have literally no notes going into this, so I'm just trying to think of stuff to say. And that's where we're at. But yeah, am I going to be able to get back into a regular schedule of podcasts now? Because I'm the type of person, all right, in real life, you know, if you know me in real life, if any, any of my real life friends are listening, you know, I'm just, I'm quiet. All right, I just sit through the class. I just go with the flow. I don't say a whole lot. But yo, dog, when I hop on the podcast, all of a sudden, I have a lot going through my mind throughout the day. Like, I have all these thoughts. I just don't want to be wrong. Like, if the teacher has a question, I don't want to answer wrong. I don't like being wrong, so I won't even say the answer. But yo, man, I literally always feel like I have a lot to say. Usually, I don't know how to put it in, put it in the right words, but hey, this podcast has helped with that. And for sure, dude, I just got to get back into doing these things because if you knew me, it was the last thing you'd expect from me to start a podcast. I feel like I'm spitting everywhere, dude. But it's just, it's so much fun. And obviously you guys should do that. Yo, this is going crazy. We are six and a half minutes in already. Yo, I feel like, I feel like that time has went quick. I'm legit running out of topics already, but we'll figure it out. I don't know. I just wanted to hop on the mic and just get something up, dude. Just get something up because I missed the first week of school. Think how perfect it would have been if I could have done a podcast on literally the first week of school. Like going into school, what are my goals? What do I want to do? That would have been perfect. And now here we are already a month in, only eight months left. Which, by the way, when I think about that, guys, this is crazy, all right? I looked at my first video that I uploaded coming back to YouTube eight months ago. It has already been eight months since I started my come back to YouTube. And that went by so quick. Like legitimate, it went by so quick, man. Like... It's crazy to think we've been with this coronavirus stuff for like eight or nine months at this point. But yo, I've been at this YouTube grind for like eight or nine months. And yo, dog, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling fresh, man. Like you guys are literally the motivation. Whenever I'm playing the Minecraft streams, a lot of just reading the chat and stuff is the motivation. When I was playing that Among Us stream, it was really fun playing with you guys. Like, okay, Among Us, you guys know what Among Us is. It's basically like, what, uh, what what's it called? The Mafia or whatever, where you got to, somebody's killing people and you got to guess who it is. I really didn't even like that game, honestly, until tonight. I like going into that stream... I was so skeptical, like, bro, I tried to start the stream, I almost gave up on that stream, literally, because I tried to start it from Streamlabs, and it wouldn't let me, and I was like, "Ah, I probably shouldn't even try again, because again, I have this, like, old Alienware computer, it's a pretty powerful laptop when it comes to laptops, but it's nothing special when it comes to, like, streaming computers and stuff, so I thought it just wouldn't even be able to support the stream, so I was just about ready to end it without even starting it, and bro, that would have been such a missed out opportunity, because you guys showed up in crazy, there was, like, almost 30 people in there, like, the whole time, and I was, like, Inside, I was, like, legit freaking out because it's something that, like, it's always been a goal, man. Entertaining, I, I'd say entertaining. If you guys are watching the stream, I'd just say entertaining. I know a lot of people were trolling us, like, bro, a lot of people trolling us. There was a guy literally in the stream who had, like, 70 alt accounts tonight. It was, he just kept joining. We kept banning him. It was absolutely insane. But, yeah, dude, you guys literally motivate me. Like, yo, okay, here's the thing. At the beginning of this week, I legit thought my channel was dying. Like, it might be dying, but, like, the thing I did was like I uploaded a video and it would get like, it like wouldn't be up to pars with the videos that I previously uploaded a couple weeks ago. So I was legit, I'm getting to the point in the YouTube scene where like if I upload a video and it doesn't perform well in the first, in the first like 15 minutes, I'm like, well, that video was a dud. People are going to hate that. But yo, they're, they'll, they've been performing a little bit less than the old ones, I think. I don't think my channel's dead. I had that feeling, but it's good. After that stream right now, I'm like, relieved of all feeling of that the channel's dead and now that we have so many new people to the channel that hopefully support the videos as well and that's the thing like you have to have a balance of live streams and videos for me because that one fear that i've always had is that i've just turned into a live streamer people only like the live streams and not the videos my goal is to just obviously make it so that both work and so far it literally couldn't have been any better like this whole youtube run for me literally couldn't be any better right now ever since like ever since we started, there's always been like active people who are just awesome people, incredible people. And they've been here throughout the whole run. We've literally got like, I would say the people who have tuned into my videos and are active on the discord are like, it's like the best community out there. Honestly, like I legit think that like, it's crazy for a small YouTube community. I couldn't see anything better than it. Like everybody's perfect. We have so many different personalities and stuff. It's so awesome to see. And yo, it's crazy. It's like, I legit can't get over it. I'm so happy that I started my YouTube channel. Like this year again a big regret was that i started my channel back in 2018 but then but then i stopped for some reason i don't know why i stopped i really wonder why i stopped 
but I stopped then, and I waited a whole year to start it back up, and it's only been eight months, and here we are, boys. We have, ooh, I'll better check the sub count, by the way. Hey, Smitty, I'm going to quit YouTube for a while. Keep going. You'll make it. Bye. Oh, see, Jenda. See, Jenda just gave me a sad thing in the Smitty space. Okay, see, Jenda. Okay, well, see, Jenda, a viewer just said she's quitting YouTube for a while. Okay, that's sad to hear, but any, we'll talk about that later, I guess. But hey, guys, yo, 1,216 subs. I don't know if that's going to focus either, but 1,216 subs at this current moment, which is absolutely insane. 1,200 people have subscribed. Here's a story. I remember I was, okay, I'm a farmer, right? So I'm a hay farmer. We make hay bales. We sell hay. We buy hay. We don't really, we don't buy hay, but we, okay, so think of hay. Like mow, you mow your grass, right? You mow your grass and you got all those lawn clippings and the grass is cut, you know? Bale that up, put it into a windrow, and put it into bales, you know? People know that. I just, maybe, maybe I'm insulting your tel intelligence right now. But yo, I was in a field once, baling corn stalks, and I made 1,000 bales. And at the end of the day, I look out, and I just see bales everywhere. It's a 500-acre field, which is a pretty big field, and it's just bale, 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 bale. 1,000 bales that I made. And that really put into perspective, like, how many people 1,000 is. And currently, we have 1,200, which is significant, significantly more than 1,000, obviously. But yo, 1,000 people, if you put that into perspective, is mind-blowing how, how many people that is. Like, it's crazy. Like, think about, like, PewDiePie, 100 million people. 100 million people, what is that, like, 180th of the planet's population? Like, think about how powerful social media is. The, the amount of, like, reach, how many people you can reach. I think I've had people from, like, what's called, Laos? I think somebody from Laos watches the videos, like, Australia, UK, all these people from different countries and it's just absolutely insane the internet is so like powerful it has the ability to it's it's so crazy man i i can't get over how many a thousand is and of course guys i'm still grateful for that it's awesome and yeah and yo okay um should i just pull this up guys we are getting i'm just going to talk about this we're getting close to monetization on my on my channel which here's the thing i'm going to i'm not going to become a sellout i'm not going to i'm not going to become a sellout all right I, but i'm so hyped to hopefully get monetization on my channel if I pass the partnership or whatever program. I don't know if I can get in there. But yeah, I'm just going to pull up how many like watch time hours we need, guys. And I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. Okay, I'm going to pull it up quick. Because I remember I made a YouTube statistics video not that long ago. And it was like 1,500 hours, I think, that I had left. And that was about a month and a half ago. And currently, guys, according to this, we have got 3,570 public watch time hours out of 4,000. You need 4,000 watch time hours to get monetization and 1,000 subscribers. And we're and I just streamed it, which had like 40 more hours. So 400 more hours, guys, until I can be monetized on YouTube. And that is literally a crazy thought to me. Now, obviously, when I start out, the monetization is going to be like like five cents a video. I don't know what it's going to be. I have no idea what it's going to be. I'm always going to keep it real with you guys. I do plan on like making videos telling you guys how much I make. You know, just because again, people are so interested in that. Like everybody's like, "Yo, you make money off YouTube." Like my real life friends, they know I run this YouTube channel. The one question they ask like every now and then is, "Yo, you making money yet? You making money yet?" Because people are just so interested in the fact of making money off YouTube, the concept of making money off, off, off of YouTube, and so am I, dude. That's why like the inner human being inside of me is like so hyped up, so excited to get this monetization, which we hopefully reach. And like, I'm just gonna like, if I wanted to reach this really quickly, I could like be a sellout and like stream every day and go for that watch time. But I'm just gonna keep real with you guys. I'm just gonna stream Saturdays, maybe tomorrow night. It's just because the Among Us stream was so much fun. I might stream that tomorrow night. I'm gonna stream every Saturdays and every Wednesday, and I'm gonna try to get videos up to you guys as well. Now, from a YouTuber perspective, God, I, I literally am spitting everywhere. I swear. From a YouTuber perspective, I feel like making videos, like a, a company's perspective, making videos wouldn't make that much sense because videos bring in a lot less watch time. They'd bring in a lot less like money, I think, if I was ever making money. I don't know what I'm talking about there. But they bring in a lot less watch time and they get less views. But I don't care, man. Because at the end of the day, it's the question that comes up. Would I rather make videos or do live streams, dude? Like the, after making that live stream tonight, I had so much fun. I don't know if I can answer that question. They both are so much fun for me. Now, the video editing process for me is absolutely awful. It's it's terrible, all right? Editing videos is not fun. But again, I've said that. Okay, I feel like I say the same thing every single podcast. But that's just because I record them months apart from each other. So it's kind of hard to remember what I said in the last one. But the best part about a video, I'm staying consistent on this. I said this every single episode, basically, is when I go back and I just see those comments that you guys leave and you guys, like, make memes out of it. And you just, like, oh, dude, it's so rewarding. It's literally the best thing ever. And it always has been the best part of YouTube still. The feedback, like, when I'm playing games, obviously, I'm just reading chat. Like, I was playing Among Us tonight and I walked by a dead body, which you're supposed to, supposed to report. And Jackabot, the guy I was talking to, he's like, uh... Smitty, you just walked by a dead body. You should probably focus on the game. And yeah, dude, it's just, it's a crazy concept. Like the fact that I'm like talking to people from like Utah, from like the UK, from like Canada, from all over the world, all just watching me play this video game. 
it's such a crazy concept. Like, imagine if I went like 80, 90 years in the, in the, into the past and just like, yo, pretty soon you can talk to somebody from like across the world so easily. And I just can't get over it, man. I legit can't get over it. I am so hyped up, dude. Like, okay, the difference between the beginning of this week to the end. All right, so this week, okay, here's what we got to time management, though. Because this week in school, I did not do good in school this week. I'm just being honest, guys. I have late assignments still. And I've always been the A-plus student. Like, my parents expect the A-plus. The A-plus, I guess we just have A's now. They expect the A's out of me. And next week, I'm definitely going to have some, like, B's and C's because... This week was a very, okay, okay, actually, let's go back. Let's just recap everything, guys. Hopefully, I'm not talking too fast this episode. I feel like I might, I'm just so hyper right now, but hopefully, you guys are enjoying it, and yeah, my future self's going to be loving it, so hey, that that's, at the end of the day, that's really all that matters to me is that my future self is enjoying it, but hey, if you guys are still listening, that's awesome, but yo, here's how the week started, all right? So, Monday, I wake up, or no, Sunday night, Sunday night, Sunday night, I'm, I got like a stomach ache, I got like a sore throat. And like, yo, I'm like sick. I'm like, yo, all right, I'm a little sick. So I'm going to take the day off of school tomorrow. So I take the whole day off of Monday, not feeling very good. Not coronavirus, obviously. Like, okay, here's the, here's the other thing. If I got coronavirus, I really wouldn't care for myself. I'm not scared of coronavirus at all, but the elderly, the the people with uh, underlying health conditions I'm worried for, but myself, I'm fine. I'm not worried about getting coronavirus at all. But yo, like I was like, I took a day off just to play it safe because like, there's no point in going to school if I'm sick right now during a global pandemic. So yeah, I took the day off. So we started off with a sick day on Monday, right? During that Monday, we get behind on a whole bunch of homework. My history teacher, we just took a test on like Friday in that class. I come back on Tuesday and he's like, all right, guys, be ready for a test this Friday. So literally we had two tests in my history class on like back-to-back weeks. Like it is crazy in there. Anyways, I missed some assignments, missed a lot of information, bro. Tuesday was tough. Wednesday was also tough. Thursday was rough. I was just so off this week. It was such a bad week school-wise, school-wise. And I think that can be drawn back to the fact that I am... Currently, definitely prioritizing YouTube over school, honestly. I'm just a big proponent. Is that the right? I'm a big proponent of the school system. I hate the school system, honestly. I hate how it works. I hate how I have to go to class every day to this advanced AP calculus class and just learn how to do this pointless crap that I'm never going to use for the rest of my life. But, oh, you needed to get into college. Okay, well, I get into college. Now I'll never use it for the rest of my life. I just hate that system that we have set up so much. I don't know how we can fix it, but, hey, I hate it. Anyways, what was I saying? I get behind on all that work. And like, yeah, I'm definitely prioritizing YouTube right now over school, which is like, I don't know if that's crazy to say, because like, like, I thought my channel was dying at the beginning of this week. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to try to start uploading every single day. I feel like people are losing interest in my channel. And now, like I said, Saturday night, we started an Among Us live stream, just suggested best live stream I've ever had, honestly, the most fun by Miles, even though we were being hacked the whole time. It was the most fun live stream I've ever had. And it's just crazy to see how much I went from terrible, literally the lowest point ever this week, starting at being sick, to the top of best stream ever, most fun stream ever, with the Discord. Oh my god, I I am just so hyped up right now. And it was absolutely incredible. And I think the reason I'm valuing YouTube over school right now is it just comes back to that monetization. Dude, I'm so excited. I just... I'm looking forward to being monetized so much. Like, I don't want to sound like a sellout or like I just want the money or anything. No, like even if I don't get monetized, I'm going to continue making YouTube videos forever. Am I going to say forever? So that's the thing. I can't imagine a world where I don't upload YouTube videos. I've always, I've always just had a passion for making videos. And I told my parents, I want to make videos. And they're like, what does that mean? Like, how are you going to get a job just making videos? And I'm like, I don't really know. I don't really know, dude. I'm so undecided. What am I going to do with my life, bro? What am I going to do? And that is why we have podcasts to talk about that. Yeah, it's crazy. And it comes back to just, I'm focusing on YouTube because I, oh my God, dude, I'm so hype. I am so hype. Just, it's something I've always wanted. And I think we got a donation today from Ben, which is crazy. Yeah, and like donations. And the fact that people would take time to like donate to me, that people, some people are requesting merch. Like this is legitimately, however you put it, this is legitimately like turning into a business for me. I'm like dang near running a business here, honestly. Once I start making money, if I start making money, which hopefully I do, I would then consider this basically a business. And, yo, I, I, that is just a completely crazy thought to me, man. Thinking back to that little 2013 year old me, man, making that first Keynote or Toten video on my old channel, man. I wonder why, I wonder how I just got so interested in videos, dude. I wonder why that is. Videos have always just been so much fun for me to, and, and to finally see it paying off, dude, it's, it dang near makes a man want to cry. Honestly, it really does. It's crazy. 
And it's not even the fact that pretty soon will hopefully be monetized. But it's like everything I've ever wanted with YouTube is like coming true, man. Like I've had some people like, like I want, I think I've said this before, but my ultimate goal in life, yeah, I just want to be an entertainer. I want to find a way to make people's days better. Uh, preferably through using my ability to make YouTube videos. And I think I'm achieving that right now. And I'm like a, like a, I wouldn't say a great scale, but like a very successful scale. Like some people have told me that like humble, like I've like made their year better. I've made their day better. They've loved being a part of the community. And that legit is just the best feeling in the world. I legitimately get the best feeling in the world from people saying, Hey, I, being a part of this community has made my like life better and stuff. It's legit. Just the best thing ever. Like I, I love that feeling so much. And it's why I just want to pursue, keep doing this business thing, this YouTube thing. It's crazy. And like I said, I've always had this feeling that it would happen that someday I, I'm sounding humble. Like I just, I don't want to sound like I'm like bragging or anything. I'm just so happy for everything, guys. Like I legitimately, and it's it, could, it shows because I say I'm happy like every two seconds that I that I'm thankful for you guys. Like every two seconds of the live streams, but it's just so true because I literally have that fear that someday everybody's just gonna be like, like uh, somebody's gonna get exposed or something, and everybody's just gonna leave, and I'm gonna be like, well now what? Now what do I do? Because like the thing with YouTube is it's so unsteady. One day you could be making you could have a million views, the next day YouTube just like, nope, your channel's getting shut down. Like like the Logan Paul like Japanese thing, like one day his channel his YouTube channel is monetized, the next day they just take away all his money and he can't monetize his videos anymore and he's just at a very low point in his life. Which he's not rebounded from, honestly. Logan Paul has rebounded. I think his content's pretty good. He's not as toxic as he used to be. Like, I don't know guys. I don't hate him as much. Like obviously what he did was terrible. No one can defend it, but I I'd, I still look forward to his vlogs to this day. And yo, vlogs guys vlogs are maybe the most best well-received videos on my channel okay here's the thing here's what i've concluded all right not everybody likes call of duty zombies videos because not everybody plays call of duty zombies not everybody likes the minecraft streams because honestly they're kind of boring with my gameplay so i mean i think a lot of people like minecraft everybody knows what minecraft is so maybe not everybody's as interested in minecraft streams because they're not as much fun gameplay not as good as dream Nobody, not everybody's interested in zombies, but yeah, when it comes to vlogs, vlogging is literally real life. And I think kind of everybody's interested in like the vlogs I make because everybody lives a life. So at the end of the day, everybody can relate to a vlog, whereas not everybody can relate to Call of Duty Zombies videos. And yeah, so that's why I think vlogs are some of the most fun videos to make, honestly, just because I know people kind of get hyped for them. Like when I like did the first face reveal with Gibbs, you guys were getting all hyped up over that. And then the next one was my 2020 summer rewind. And it's like, yeah. And those, and I just like making a vlog, I kind of know it's going to be very well received. And it's just awesome to kind of show you guys like a little bit of my personal life. And I love editing vlogs, honestly, even though they take like a long time, I just love them. Cause I take that kind of David Dobrik, Logan Paul style. I'm sure you guys can notice. And I try to make them like quick, short. Cause now the thing is nowadays, people's attention spans are like two seconds. You look at the app, TikTok, all TikTok is, is like, 10 to 15 60 second videos not even like 60 seconds like when i get a 60 second video on tiktok i legit just get upset i'm like i'm not watching this whole thing i'm not gonna sit here and waste one minute of my life waste one minute of my life watching a video when i can just scroll through 20 videos in five seconds or five videos in 20 seconds people have very short attention spans and that's kind of the the format that i try to replicate with my with my vlog styles and my really my editing style for everything man like if i'm not talking i just try to cut it out i don't like waste people's time and yeah, so I just go for that quick five minute, 10 minute. And that's kind of why, that's kind of my watch time. I feel like for a lot of people, they would have hit 4,000 watch hours a long time before me. But I, like, I have no reason to be mad at anything. I am so happy, man, where I'm at. Go back through the schedule. Yo, honestly, since this episode, like I said, if I just sit down and start a podcast, I think it goes pretty smooth. I don't know if I've like made any valid points on anything. But at the end of the day, I have a podcast to look back on. And if you guys are still listening, that's awesome. But hey, here's the schedule, all right? If anybody is still listening. So here's the goal. All right, this is my new updated schedule for the school year. And currently, if I get too far behind on school, this might have to slow down because if I get too far behind, my parents are eventually going to get very mad at me, specifically my mom. She's always expected the A plus out of me. And honestly, that's what I've delivered the A. I've delivered the the A grade for like for my entire like high school year and junior high years, honestly. In seventh grade, I had one B, and that was the last B ever. Because once, okay. Because once I got understood that you, you can be ranked in your class and you could be at the top, I always wanted to be at the top. So I would just absolutely sweat. I remember in science class, we had this like, uh, it was a, a worksheet and you could like, you had to pick like three things to do. There was like 10 different objective bubble things you could pick to do. And I just asked the teacher, you only had to pick three. I just asked the teacher, I was like, can I just do all of them? Like, what? 
I was such a sweat, man. I was literally the biggest sweat in junior high, man, which is why 2016 was such a good year, man. My academics were the best they've ever been. My, I don't want to flex, guys. I'm just My lowest grade in 2016 was a 98%, which is kind of crazy. And my highest was like a 103. <laughs> Bro, 2016 was the best, though. My best grades. What else happened in 2016? Best sports ever. Good trends, good memes, good songs. It was such a vibe. I wish we could go back. No Fortnite yet. So yeah, dude, if we could go back to 2016, that'd be so cool. That would be so cool, honestly. But that was a great year. But yeah, for sure, dude. I just completely forgot what I was talking about, honestly. Dang. Um, Let's see, y'all. I think 11, 17 p.m. I never would have thought. Motivation, man. I just need the motivation to do something, and then I'll get it done. Like I said, if you guys wouldn't have been so supportive on that live stream, there's no way I'd be making this podcast right now. No, I know podcasts aren't the best game, like, con- like content out there, but, like... Thank you guys so much because now you encourage me to make this podcast. Like I had no plans of doing it, and like legit, if I've already went a month without making a podcast into my school year, like I remember I had plans to do that live podcast before before school started, and like I was gonna talk about like what are my goals this this final summer school year, this final senior year of school, what am I gonna do, where am I gonna go, like all that type of stuff, and it just doesn't feel the same now that we're already a month in, and I already kind of know what to expect. So yeah, dude, it's it's weird, man. It's weird, but now I think, am I confident enough to say that every single week I'll be able to get a podcast up? It's a question that I've asked many times. Am I confident enough to say that, bro? Honestly? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I am. Yeah, nobody's going to believe me on that. It's like the boy who cried wolf. I've said it like a million times that I'm going to upload a podcast every week. I don't know how many people are hyped for these at all, but yeah, like, yo. I think it's going to happen now, guys, because I'm getting back into the swing of things. You remember what I said? It was a long time ago. It was like, once you get out of that rotation of uploading a video every single day, it's hard to get back into it. Because once you become, once you make that your normal, where you're like, oh, I didn't upload a video today, but it's all right. I'll make one tomorrow. Oh, I didn't upload one today after that day. I didn't upload one in three days now. It's all right. I'll upload one. I'll upload a video once a week. Like, it's just hard to get back into that, into that uh, swing of things. And I'm getting back into it now. I Like I said, I've uploaded a video almost every day this week. I took one day off. Because we'll get back in the schedule. Okay, Sunday's a podcast. I'm making a podcast every single week. All right? I'm making a podcast every single week. It's not that difficult. Just sit down, talk to people, talk to yourself. You can talk about whatever. At the end of the day, it's content to look back on. So it's awesome. I'm going to be make, making a podcast every single week. I want to make sure the recording is still going. Yeah, the recording is still going. <coughs> podcast every Sunday. Okay, here's the, okay, here's the thing. I'm going to try to get one well-edited video up a week. All right? One well-edited, like... Like me putting like 10 hours into it, I'd say is pretty well edited. I finally figured out how to edit quicker because I got Final Cut Pro. I finally ditched iMovie. For seven years, I used iMovie, which is looking back on it now, iMovie's terrible. All right. Like iMovie's free, but in terms of editing softwares, like the editing that I have to get out, iMovie is awful. Like it was slowing down the procedure by like hours because overlays on iMovie are just broke. And I finally moved to Final Cut Pro, which Final Cut Pro, think of iMovie, which is not good iMovie can get stuff done, but it's not good. And then just think of Final Cut Pro. iMovie on steroids times two, you know? Steroids times two is a lot. <laughs> and basically with Final Cut Pro, I can do like whatever I want a lot more easy. With iMovie, I can do about whatever I want, but it's just a lot more difficult. And yeah, now that I look back on iMovie, I am amazed that I managed to use iMovie for so long without switching. Because iMovie's, it's not good. Like, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I never really imagined me not using iMovie anymore. Like, I can't, I probably don't even really remember how to use it. Like, I'm sure I know how to use it pretty well, but I bet I forgot a few tricks, which is weird because I've always just been the iMovie guy, but now Final Cut Pro, infinitely better. Literally, infinitely better than iMovie. So, yeah, well edited video either, here's the deal podcast Sunday, and then a well edited video either Monday, Thursday, or Friday. So, three days there out of the week to try to get one well edited video up. Tuesday is a Minecraft tutorial video. I know, here's the deal. None of you guys want Minecraft tutorial videos, really. None of you really are interested. Minecraft tutorial videos have been performing really bad the last two weeks, which, you know, honestly, I'm okay with. All right, like, I don't really expect them to perform very well when I make them, but here's the deal. If you go look at my, like... Oh, wait, what Solid say in the Discord? See, that's one of the most things where I just want to... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I love the Discord. Okay, I want to go look at... What was I going to look at? Oh, um, yeah. Okay, so here's... We'll look at the top... My top uh, Minecraft tutorial videos. Okay. <clears throat> so I uploaded a tutorial video three days ago. Two simple vertical flying machines. 124 views, which is not... Like, that's honestly for a Minecraft tutorial video. That's not bad. But it has 24 likes. 
Now I'm at the point where my like goal is like 50. 50 likes a video is honestly, for like every video I make, I expect 50 likes, expect. I hope for 50 likes. Uh, not not tutorial videos, obviously, but if I make like a video that I put time into, I hope for 50 likes really, really badly. Which by the way, guys, we hit 70 likes on the on the second vlog, which means that a fridge tour is coming, guys. Dukin, your fridge tour is coming. I don't have no idea if you're listening to this. You're probably not, but yo, people have been asking for a for like a, a tour of my fridge in my house of like the foods and stuff in there. So uh, that'll be coming eventually. I think in a, it might be a while though, because I have an idea to put that in a vlog that it'll take me a while to get the footage for. Yo, thank you for 70 likes on that. But yeah, 50 likes is my goal, I think. And like recently we haven't been reaching that, but that's fine. That's fine. Because if you look at this Among Us live stream, 44 likes, which is crazy. Like my live stream like goals are like 30 to 40, I'd say, which is crazy. And, you know, like we have people in the comments, like Solid said, loved watching a little bit of it. I hope I hope to join and play next time. Solid says, cool pod, glad up says. It's crazy, guys. Like the support on this channel is so cool. But here's the other reason why I make Minecraft tutorial videos. Now, this might sell, sound like a sellout move, I guess. But like Minecraft tutorial videos will hit the search, will hit the YouTube search algorithms. All right. It'll help get the channel out there more. And that might sound kind of scummy because I know you guys don't want them, but I still make them because I hope that they hit YouTube search algorithms. Um, sometimes they'll just flop but if you look at my most popular videos on my channel all right <coughs> number one is how to link nether portals and yo it's like way ahead of everything else it's 7.1k and that video is still popping off to this day it gets like almost 100 views a day which is absolutely insane which is like and then the next video two simple vertical double piston extender examples or tutorial how to make a button act like a lever tutorial video so yeah like literally the top like five videos are all Minecraft tutorials and that's because YouTube circuit search other people search for those types of videos like nobody's gonna search up like here I'll find a video here I'll find one of my videos uh, like okay like 2020 summer rewind like my second vlog which performed really well 346 views like no one's no random person's just gonna search that 2020 or 2020 summer rewind click on my video and be like oh thank you but like Whereas people in Minecraft are going to look up how to link nether portals in Minecraft and then my video will show up and then they'll pick it and then they'll be like, yo, thank you. At the end of the day, man, I just want to help people and like tutorial videos will help people. You might say that's kind of cringe. It's helping them with like Minecraft, which is just a video game. But hey, at the end of the day, it's still helping people. It could potentially be making people's days better. Some guy said that I helped them transport villagers around his base. So hey, I'll take that. That's a dub. And yeah, but at the end of the day, I just do those because again, they hit the YouTube search algorithm if I'm being honest. But yeah, Wednesday is a stream. Wednesday is a Minecraft stream. And Thursday is also, so Monday, Thursday, Friday are just going to be videos. Uh, I did do a reaction video that got re responded very well. The response was very good on that. It got like 44 likes, which were a reaction video is crazy. So I might keep up with something like that. So my goal is to make a one well edited video, like a funny moments or something a week. And then like a reaction, less edited video, basically. So two videos a week, two streams a week, a podcast. A tutorial video am I gonna be able to keep that up and do school yo basketball starts soon dude sports start soon and here's the thing at my school we get out at th like school gets done at 3 30 p.m. which is crazy because like Dova Snipes the guy from the discord says his school gets done at like 2 I think he said and like our current football team they're out at the field practicing until like 6 30 every night and then you come home from that, you shower, you eat, and by that it's like 8 p.m. You might have some homework to do. Am I going to be able to keep the upload schedule going, guys, if I get home at like 7 p.m. every night from school, exhausted from practice? It's going to be such a test. It's going to be such a challenge. And I really think, I really hope you guys stay here for the long ride. Because I, dude, I have this feeling deep down inside, like <laughs> deep down inside, that I feel like I have potential, you know? Like, I don't want to sound like not humble, but I feel like I can grow the channel to be a lot bigger than what it is, honestly. If that ever happens, you know, feature yourself if you're watching this right now, and if your YouTube channel has like, okay, let's say hypothetically, you have a million subs, that's the dream, man. That's my current dream right now. If you have a million subs watching this, Smitty, yo, that's awesome, dude. And like, I don't have any plans of stopping YouTube. I could not picture a world where my YouTube channel is dead, where I don't upload anymore, no matter what the outcome is. Like I said, if I don't, if this monetization thing right here, I'm looking at 3,500 watch time hours. If that doesn't go through, I'm going to keep making videos because it's fun. At the end of the day, I do it because it's fun. I'm not sitting here, like obviously right now I'm very hyped to hopefully get this monetization thing. But even if it doesn't happen, I'm going to keep going. Because again, it's more of the community aspect. It's more of like, 
having people to talk to, like we've had so many, it's been such a tough year for everybody. And to be able to just chat with people and like help them through tough times, I think we have with each other. It really is just a great feeling. And like just the amount of positive vibes on the YouTube channel and like the discord and stuff, it's all positive. All of us are just so tight. Like we have some beef with each other, but at the end of the day, we're all tight, man. We're all tight. We're making like, yo, I see some people like collabing with each other for their own videos. I collab with a lot of you guys. It's just so cool. Like you guys are playing together. Like Oxtail plays with like three different people. It's like, it's honestly the perfect outcome. Like I couldn't have drew, like I couldn't even drew, I couldn't have drew this up legitimately. Like when I started this YouTube channel, I was like, what was I like? I was like, it's time to go, man. It's literally time. I'm, I'm talking with like, I like have a like life changing, like 20 million subs. I've just made a million dollars. No, no. Like, I'm just so happy where I'm at, dude. Like, it's just, I started out, I was like, dog, only got a year left. It, it really just comes down to time. Like, I only had a year left before I graduated, and I was like, bro, you've always had this, like, dream of making YouTube videos that hopefully people watch. Why don't you just pursue that, man? Why don't you just pursue that? And, like, yeah, went for it. Started in February. Yo, and, like, coronavirus, as awful as it was, as awful as, as it has been, it's really, like, it's helped me with my YouTube channel for sure. Cause like all during the summer I had absolutely nothing to do. Oh my God. The grind, the absolute grind. Okay. Here's the thing. People ask me what to do when I'm starting a channel. Here's the goals or here's the steps guys. All right. Upload every single day. All right. Upload every single day. Cause what that does is I've said this before. It makes more videos that'll hopefully hit the search algorithm. It'll keep people interested in your channel. And here's the thing. You have to upload every single day, but you have to upload like good content that you put time into. I think. Like, good content that you think people will enjoy. Like, you can't just, like, upload, like, 50 minutes of you playing GTA 5. Like, make some edits, man. Cut that up. Put, turn, Take that down to five minutes and then make that every single day. And it really is a grind. You have to be active with your with your, uh, with your, uh, your viewers. Look at that hand gesture. But yeah, dude. At the end of the day, you just got to evaluate why you're doing it. Are you doing it because you want to make money or are you doing it because you like making videos? And for me, I'm doing it because I like making videos, really. And, like, a little bit of because I'm really excited to start making money, honestly. It's so much fun. It's literally, literally, it's incredible. It's been a crazy ride. And I've just got this, I'm just at like such a high point right now. I'm wondering if in like a week I'm going to be at like a really low point. And then in a couple months when sports start, am I going to be in like in the middle? Am I going to burn out? It's crazy, dude. It's legitimately crazy to think about where am I going to be. Goals for the end of the year. I was going to say 2K by the end of the year. I think that's potential. Like I said, I have this idea in my head that one day, one day, like my channel is just gonna like blow up, you know? Like tonight, I kind of have that feeling. Like my channel didn't really blow up tonight, but like it was a stream with like 30 concurrents like the whole time, maybe 25. And for me, that's a crazy feeling. That That's the feeling that like my channel's blowing up. We have new people joining the chat like every minute. The chat's going crazy. Like I got to the point where I couldn't keep up with the chat, dude. I couldn't keep up with the chat. And that's not a bad problem to have, but it got kind of difficult because some people were like, oh, were you, were you, Disc discarding where you're not paying attention to my messages that I left. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I just, I, it was moving too fast. I couldn't read the chat. And that really begs, brings up the question. What happens when, if what happens, if, and when this happens where like, let's say hypothetically, like uh, eventually, like I start streaming, this is a lot of hypothetical. This is what I'm hoping will happen. This is all just like goals. I want this to happen so much. I want a lot of people to join the channel. Let's say hypothetically, I have like 500 people watching and the chat's moving so quickly that I can't even like read it. How am I going to handle that, man? Because I, my favorite part has always been reading comments. So if I just play the game and don't read comments, honestly, I'm probably going to get bored. Because back in my younger days, back in my, wait, hold on, what time are we at? Yo, we're legit like 40 minutes in this thing. I just sat down. I know the lighting, oh, I should probably address this. I know the lighting's not good, guys, but because it's so late, I was just like, I don't really want to fix the lighting. I don't want to be sitting in a well-lit room right now. I'm just like, I just got done streaming, man. It's late. It's going to be like almost midnight when I'm done with this. I just wanted to vibe in the darkness. In the next podcast with Facecam, I will hopefully... I'll, ha I'll have some better lighting, but for right now, this is just the vibe, so I'm keeping it. But yeah, I had that feeling that, like, my channel is blowing up. What's going to happen if I can't read the chat? And I don't really know. I don't know what I'm going to do then, because that, like, that's not a bad problem to have again, but it's always been my favorite part is reading chat, and if it's moving too fast, what am I going to do? And, like, some people have said, all right, <coughs> like, what's going to happen? Like, are you going to remember us? Once again, we're living in the hypothetical. Let's say hypothetically, I do like get a lot of subs someday, guys. I'm obviously gonna remember like everybody who's here right now. All right, like 
obviously like here's the goal everybody who's here right now i'm going to give you guys moderator if this ever happens and we're going to be in the minecraft streams and i'll see your guys' names in blue all right and then i'll be able to read your chats for sure i hope i'm not sounding arrogant right now because i'm obviously like i'm like hyping myself up. i'm like oh i'm guaranteed to have a million subs no that's just a goal and yeah i don't know hopefully it happens like that's legitimately my goal like if i'm being honest with myself i want to entertain millions i don't know if i'm possible of that I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. Like, if my videos are good enough. I don't think my equipment's good enough to do that. Which is why, I should, if I ever make YouTube money off YouTube, I should probably invest in, like, an actual, like, PC. And, like, a new my headset. I really hate this face cam, honestly. I went with the off-brand, and it, it's, like, it's okay, but I don't like it that much. But, yeah, hypothetically, man, that is the ultimate goal. If I'm just being honest with myself, I want to I wanna entertain millions worldwide. Which is crazy. And I just want to stay humble. Like, I feel like all these... Big celebrities nowadays, they got their chains, they got all their, they just spend a bunch of money on pointless stuff, they just talk about how they're the best thing ever. We stay humble here, man. Not better than you, you're not better than me, we, we just vibe, dude. We're just vibing. And that's kind of a fear of mine, like, I hate when people hype me up, you know, I hate, I just hate when people hype me up. Like, if people are like, yo, Smitty, you're just, you're just the best, like, Smitty is our savior, I'm like, no, please don't say that. I just, I don't like when people hype me up like that, because I don't like that feeling that people might take that and think that like they might think that I think I'm better than people I'm just we're just people man I'm not better than anybody like oh I get the blue check mark let's all bow down the blue check marks in the chat oh my god he's got a blue check mark bro it's just like 50 pixels that are different color I don't know I'm crazy man I'm crazy like I said if any of my real life friends are watching this right now they're probably like what where's this Smitty at when he's at school because at school man I just like sit down I'm like all right yeah go with the flow Every teacher's like, oh, you're so quiet. Everyone's expected, everyone's accepted at the point that I'm quiet and like the quiet kid, you know, not the weird quiet kid, you know, but just the one who just, if you talk about something that I'm knowledgeable on, I'll go on with the conversation with you. But if you just give me something stupid that I don't care about, I'll just shut the conversation down real quick because I won't know what to say. But yeah. It kind of goes back to the personality test. If anybody here has never taken a personality test, I suggest you take a personality test, honestly, because like it told me so much about myself. I'm just going to pull it up right now. I'm an INFJ, all right? INFJ. And INFJ, I just gotta, this literally describes me so well, I thought, if I can find the right definition. If you haven't taken a personality test, go for it. It like tells you like your personality. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. I'll just look up INFJ definition. Traits, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it's like, Okay, here, yo, okay, this is literally me summed up, all right? You know how I'm always talking about, I feel like I'm always letting people down. I feel like, I feel like, okay, just listen to this. INFJs are usually reserved, but highly sensitive to how others feel. That's legitimately me. I never want to have beef with anybody. I want everybody to, I feel bad if, like I see like homeless people and stuff. I feel terrible because those people are obviously struggling. And it hurts me to see that type of stuff, man. I want to help with that somehow, someday. But like... Bro, like that's the goal. I just want to help everybody feel better. And I just, it hurts me to see people struggling. And yeah, dude. And they're typically idealistic with high moral stand, high moral standards. You guys realize how I don't cuss all the time. I could do that, but like I can't do that because my, my morals, man, I don't see the value in cussing. Like literally tonight we raided somebody and the guy was cussing in a stream and like somebody in my chat was like, yo, why, why would you play that through the, uh, why would you play that on the stream like a dude cussing? I was like, I have high moral standards. I don't like doing that because, again, dude, there's so many kids on the internet today. I think it's awful what the internet does to children. Like, you look at, like, Logan Paul, David Dobrik, how, like, you just look at the stuff in those vlogs, man. Like, a lot of young kids are watching those, and they obviously shouldn't be. That's terrible stuff to be exposing kids to. Cussing and just, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. It's, I want my channel to be a place where that isn't there, you know, because I feel like there's not a whole lot of places where it's not there on internet. I don't know. The internet is a dangerous place for kids. It's, it really ruins them, honestly, for me. But yeah, dude. And INFJ, high moral standards. <laughs> high moral standards and a strong focus on the future. I didn't even know it said that. INFJs have a strong focus on the future. Have I not been talking about this whole episode? How all I'm looking forward to is the future. All the hypotheticals. I'm so interested in the past. Bro, I'm literally just an INFJ word for word. So if you guys haven't taken a personality test, type in like the something Briggs personality test. Just type in a personality test. Go take that and it literally explains me so well. That is literally me. Word for word. It's how I feel about like everything, really. And it's crazy, man, how accurate that is. But yo... That's what it is, man. I am the quiet kid who has a lot to say, I guess. Don't know if it makes much sense. I never know if I'm making much sense in these. 
But hey, that is... That's 44 minutes of content. Like, just to think I sat down here for 44 minutes, bro. 44 minutes. Hey. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else there is to talk about. We talked about the channel, iMovie, Discord. The community is awesome. I'm on that high streak right now. I'm shooting threes in the gym. I'm not missing. And you guys are just there cheering me on. Cheering me on, basically. Yo. It's so much fun. And, like, just the fact... That we've been supporting each other, yo. Like, I go into all your guys' videos, and, like, there's comments from other people in the community. Ah, dude, it's just... It's literally perfect. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Literally. And, like, here's the thing, guys. If you have an idea, just, just roll with it, all right? If you have an idea to start a YouTube channel, if you have an idea to make a product, to start a business, I don't know. Just, just roll with it, man. Because, like, what do you have to lose? And, like, unless your idea is, like, to kill people like I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that but if you got a good idea man just go with it because I started this YouTube channel rolled with it it worked out I started the podcast I love the podcast even though looking back at the beginning of the summer I was like yo guys if I can't even get a single video up this entire summer I know one thing will be sure and that's that the podcast will stay bro I uploaded like one podcast this summer oh my god dude. just even the thought of me thinking I could have like th almost 30 episodes of the podcast and instead I have 14 which is still a lot honestly it saddens me. It really does. I could have 30 episodes of instead of 14. It, it's not good. But yeah, dude, if you guys have an idea, just go for it, man. My podcast worked out. The Sminicraft Survival Series, I would say, worked out. Tonight, I just had the idea to stream Among Us. It worked out, dude. I've been so fortunate. And I feel like that could work with everybody. If you have a good idea, just go for it. Like, Dobas told me he wants to start making Minecraft story videos. Go for it, man. Go for it. You have a chance to hit the search algorithm. Could blow up. If you guys want to start a podcast or something, if you want to start a YouTube channel, just like people are in your real life are going to find out. They might like shoot you down. They might hate on you. You know, I haven't really had much hate. People will kind of, you know, my friends will joke about it, I guess. Not really. Not really. I don't know. But yeah, I've been supported mostly by everybody. But yo, you just got to keep going, man. There's no point in not pursuing your, your goal, man, because all you're doing is wasting time. All I was doing waiting for that year to restart my YouTube channel was wasting time. I should have started it a year earlier. Everything I have right now, which is a lot, it should have, I w it really should have happened like a year ago, honestly, I think, if I would have just pursued it then. But yay, again, I just don't want to sound arrogant. I'm so happy where I'm at. Just know that. I. It's perfect. It legitimately is like the best thing I've ever accomplished. Yeah. Because, like, what else have I done with my life, all right? I haven't graduated high school. Don't have kids. Don't have a real job besides working with my dad. Yo, my YouTube channel is the best thing I've ever accomplished, really, when you think about it. Because it's a goal that I had that has fulfilled my, like, dreams, dude. Like, yo, living the dream. Is it cringe to say that, that I'm, like, legitimately living the dream right now? Like... Making videos that people will watch, it's... <sighs> Can't get over it, guys. It's so cool. It's such a cool concept, and I'm so happy that it worked out for me. Because honestly, if I didn't have this YouTube channel right now, I would be even more worried about my future. Now, did I just say that I think I might be a YouTuber in the future? I don't know. But just the fact that I have you guys to talk to just makes me feel a whole lot better. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Just so thankful, dude. I'm just kind of starting to get off. The... I'm starting to miss some threes here. I'm starting to lose the energy. It's getting late. But yo, I can't get over it, dude. Golf ball. I had the idea to join golf. Love golf. Like, if you guys have the idea to try something, try it. If you get the opportunity. Like, the advice I have for high school, man, you just gotta... I'm gonna put my light. You just gotta participate in stuff, dude. You gotta make the most of it. Like, this week for homecoming, we had, like, a party every single night at four different places. I was like, even some nights I'm not feeling it, bro, you gotta go and make the most of it, man. It was a lot of fun. And you just got to participate in that stuff, dude. You just got to do it while you have it. Because I'm realizing now, dog, I only got nine months left. It's going to fly by. And I just got to enjoy all of it, dude. Like, there's this organization, DECA. Should I go out for DECA? I feel like I should go out for DECA. I'm just scared if I go out and make commitments to stuff that it's going to take away from YouTube time. I'm literally basing my schedule around, like, YouTube now. I'm, I should probably look this way, this way when I'm talking. But, yeah, dude, YouTube has just become, like, such a big part of my life, honestly. Like, my friends is like, I'm missing assignments. The teacher calls me out. My friend's like, yeah, you got to settle down with that YouTube. I'm like, yeah, you're right, actually. YouTube is the one that's taking up all my time. And I don't have a problem with that, honestly, because here's the deal. I care a whole lot more about my YouTube channel than my grades. Kind of. 
I have a whole lot. I care a whole lot more about my YouTube channel than I do about my education right now. Honestly, I'd say I probably like if it came down to it, I'd probably pick my grades over my YouTube channel just to make my parents happy. But yeah, like I don't care at all about schoolwork. Like I hate it. It's so stupid. Whereas making YouTube videos, I love it. It's so much fun. And it's such a weird question. Am I ever going to stop? Is there ever going to be time in my life where I just can't do it anymore? And I'm like, I have to make the goodbye video. <laughs> the clickbait goodbye video, then come back two weeks later. I don't know, guys. We'll see. And that is why we have the Spinify podcast. Episode number 14. Follow your dreams, guys. Go for it. Like, all you're wasting, all you're losing is time if you don't do it. So, yeah. These podcasts, man, I feel I say the same thing every single time. But, yeah. 11.42 p.m. Did I really just sit down and go on for, like, 50 minutes? 50 minutes, actually. Dang, dude. That's incredible. I don't even know if I have anything else left to say. What to expect in the future, I guess? Yo, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War looks so good. That's what I'm hoping will help the channel blow up. Because when Cold War is hot in the search algorithm, I'm going to try to hit that game really, really hard. Upload a lot of videos, and I'm hoping that that will bring a lot of traction to the to the to the channel honestly and you guys like i'm making it sound so apparent that i just think i'm gonna get big i'm really just hoping so honestly a lot dude but yeah humble the way along and like no matter what i'd say i achieved my goal dude like if you go back in my old episodes man it's just like yo have a nice strong community to talk to and it's honestly better than that it's honestly better than that it's i've repeated myself a thousand times guys i just want to let you know it's insane, man. I Living the dream, dude. And uh, at this point, I've ran out of things to say, basically. So that was a good 50 minutes of a podcast. I feel I'm very repetitive. But again, it's no topics. Yo, when I started these things, I legit had... I could probably pull it. I had like 100 topics on my phone for each podcast. Because I knew if I, I'd get off topic, I would start doing stupid stuff. Do more raids, bro. Hayden just commented. <laughs> Yeah, we raided somebody tonight. It didn't work out the best, but it was still a lot of fun. When you go into their live stream and spam their chat, it was a lot of fun. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Podcast notes. Look at this. I have notes right here. It's called The Podcast. See these? I don't know if those are going to focus. But it's legitimately, it's called The Podcast, all right? And like, bro. Intro, welcome. Thank you all for 20 subs. And it's just like hundreds of bullet points. I don't know if you can see this, but hundreds of bullet points of talking points like when i used to start a podcast i would sit down for 30 to, to an hour 30 minutes to an hour and write down bullet points it's still going how many are there it's still going there we go we're done episode 13 okay i would sit down for 30 minutes to an hour and i would have to write down notes and just the fact i can go off the top of my head now even though it might not be the cleanest podcast ever because i literally just did it off the top of my head i still think it was successful i still think when i look back at this in a year i'm gonna be pretty i'm gonna be pretty happy it's going to be interesting to see where the channel is. That's the biggest question, dude. Where am I going to be in a year? Where am I going to be in a year, dude? Wow. Yeah. And as you guys can tell right now, I'm definitely pushing this out to be an hour long because I just, I'm a perfectionist. OCD, I need these to be at least an hour long. It hurts me if you have hour long video, hour long video, hour long video, and then a 55 minute video or something. That hurts. <laughs> that pains me. So yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go, should I go into like ask Reddit or something? But yeah, man. By the way, if anyone's watching this, if you know what the shirt reference is, you're the best. No one's going to get it because no one's cultured, but hey, if you can, that's awesome. Uh, I don't even want to go on Twitter. I hate Twitter so much. Uh, let's see. Ask Reddit. We're going to ask Reddit. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what pops up. At this point, you already know. I'm just trying to waste time. What if God came down some day and said it's pronounced Jod? <laughs> guys what if god came down someday and he said my name's not god it's pronounced jod that'd be crazy that was literally the first question <laughs> steve Irwin has you pinned down in a headlock what cool facts does he tell the audience about you and your habitat here we have a wild smithy 058 he's literally a skeleton guys why am i getting him a uk accent lives in the basement <laughs> basement dweller wow I don't know. If people use breakup lines instead of pickup lines, what would some of them be? <laughs> Raise your hand if you have a boyfriend. Not so fast. Oh my god, that's that's nice. Anyways, yeah, thank you all so much for listening to the Sminify podcast. I doubt anybody's still here, but hey, if you are, appreciate you. This will be uploaded tomorrow. 
And by that tomorrow, I mean it's almost today because... Oh, yeah, by the way, whoever made this fan art... Which, by the way, thank you for the fan art. But whoever made that green and purple fan art, crazy. I put it as my background on my phone, honestly. It was that cool. Yeah, Sunday podcast and honestly Sunday a stream. I think I'm going to live stream a podcast someday. Because I think that'd be really cool if you, for you guys to ask Q&A questions because that would be easy to keep topics going if you guys keep asking me questions. Hopefully that's successful. Like if two people show up and nobody's asking questions, that could be kind of awkward because that'd be a live stream with me just like not knowing what to say. But hey, at the end of that, I've definitely improved with podcasts because I can go without notes now. But hey, I like the thing is I just try to like say whatever I'm thinking. Just like no filter really. Just say it. Let it come out and then there you go. <laughs> There you are. You have a podcast to look back on for years. Guys, do it, please. Just just do it. I don't know. Bro, I'm just looking over here at this this thing that says 36 uh, public watch time. 3,600 public watch time hours. I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed. All right, guys. Five more minutes. <laughs> I legit need to get this to an hour. I'm that OCD, guys. This must be an hour long. It has to be. Um, What else can we say? Goals for the school year. This is kind of late for that, but all A's. Be involved in stuff. Hang out with your friends more. I'm like I am an introvert. I don't. I value my long my alone time very much. But I think I need to go out with my like friends more and do stuff this year. Which I don't know if I'm doing that right now. Like I went to all the homecoming stuff, but I don't know. But again, it's just like I always worry that I'm not gonna have enough time for like YouTube videos. Like I schedule a lot of things around YouTube videos. And yeah, stay consistent on the YouTube channel. I want to be uploading almost every day to keep people coming back. I want to grow my YouTube channel. By the end of the year, I want to have 10,000 subscribers. Can I have 10,000 subscribers? Think about 10,000 subscribers. Think about that hayfield I was talking about earlier with all the bales. Times 10, dude. Oh, my God. I couldn't even imagine 10,000 subscribers. That's my goal, though. That is my goal by the end of the school year. Is that way too high? I don't know. Because the thing about the internet is once you get the ball going, it goes real quick. Once you get spiraling, you get the subs coming. It could go crazy quick, honestly. And, yeah, that's, I think I have the potential to hit 10K. And then merch, I want to release merch before the end of the school year, I think. Merch is interesting. I don't really know how to do that. I'll have to figure that out. But yeah. We already have some dope designs. Phaser, that hoodie design you made is actually sick. Like, I'm going to have to ask you if I can use that. We'll see. I, I haven't asked you yet, but I might, I'm thinking about doing that. It's so good. And yeah, guys, so merch, like all A's, hang out with your friends more. Win a state championship in basketball. <laughs> Like, dude, whole, growing up, we were always just, like, the hyped-up class. Our football team was the best. We were, like, the best athletes in my class. For a small school, we only have, like, 40 kids in our class our entire grade. I think I made a lot of weird facial expressions this stream like this, or this video. But, uh, yeah, we were always hyped up. It's We need to win one state championship. I've had three different basketball coaches in four years of high school sports. So our school struggles a lot with sports coaches and stuff. But, hey, we got to win a state ship. Hopefully that happens. Did, did that happen, Future Smitty? Did you win state? Or how'd you do, man? So yeah, win state. What else is there, dude? I remember I recorded a video freshman year. I said I wanted to be able to bench 135 by the time I was a senior. I don't know if that's going to happen, guys. My skinny arms. That's one thing I regret. If I have many regrets in life, done a whole lot, but not going to weightlifting, guys. If you have the opportunity, for sure lift weights, man. I need... I should have lifted weights. Like, it's at the point where I hate weightlifting because my friends lift so much more than me. It, like, it's embarrassing to even lift, but yeah. I feel like one of these days I'm also going to lift weights again. I don't know when. Just like how one day I told myself I'm going to learn how to play piano. Like, what can I give you guys on the piano right now? Like, this is all I got. Mad world. That's all I got for you guys. It's late. I don't want to wake the family up. One day I'm... Okay, here's the goal. One day I'm going to learn how to play piano. One day I'm going to get back into weightlifting. I was never really into weightlifting, but hey... And then someday I want to release merch, honestly. It's it's a crazy concept. But hey, hopefully you guys are looking forward to more videos and stuff. Appreciate everything. We got to be at about an hour. Indeed, we are at about 59 minutes. You know, I thought it was pretty good for no topics at all. And I enjoyed it at the end of the day. I remember the first one I ever did. I was like, yo, it felt so good to get all that weight off my chest. Just say whatever I was thinking. And yeah, dude, it's just, as human beings, we love to, like, tell other people how we feel. It just feels good to get stuff off our chest, which is why I'm like, yo, if you guys got stuff to say, DM me on Discord, talk to me. I want to be that creator that you can relate to, that guy that, the guy that you can just talk to whenever, really, if you have any questions or anything. That's why I love it, because I know people want to tell people what they think. And yeah, that's why I love doing that. And, like, to be able to run a podcast that some people might listen to, tell them what I think, that's, that's, a, that's a cool concept. So, yeah. 
expect the streams, expect the videos. I'm so happy I can finally edit a little bit quicker now that I upgraded my setup. And I legitimately just sat here for an hour and talked. Legit, dude. I sat down, I was like, yeah, this might be a 20 minute one, this might be 30 minutes. But then halfway through the OCD kicked in, you're like, yeah, it has to be an hour long. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm a perfectionist, I'm an INFJ, take a personality test for sure, guys. And now imagine if this doesn't save and all this is lost, or imagine if my mic's cut out like this whole time. That is a possibility. That is a very, that is a possibility. Dang it. I always have like anxiety. I'm afraid that when I end this recording, it's going to get corrupted while it's saving. And I think this is the first one I've done with this new computer. So if nobody's seeing this right now, I, this must be lost in time and space, but I have a good feeling that it's going to work. Yo, Smitty, like Zaps, just DM me on Discord. I'm going to respond to him here. I'm just going to say, what's up? I don't know if I, I don't know what's going to come out of this, but hey, I'm just going to say, what's up? What's up, man? And yeah, guys, uh, that's what I love. I love when people just like randomly talk to me because I know people, some people need that person to talk to. And if I can be that person, that's awesome. And like, I'm not the most emotional person ever. I'm not the best at like, like he literally just said, OMG, you responded. Like, that's crazy, man. I like, I want to respond, dude. I can't get over how awesome this whole thing is. Thank you everybody so much. Love you guys. I have to say it. If you're still watching this, you're a real one. What's, I got to see what Zap's going to say. Then I'll end. I'll end it, guys. I know I've been stalling this for like 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna, I want to see what Zap says. <laughs> Zap's as cool as typing, yo. Look, he says, yo, Smitty. I said, what's up, man? He said, OMG, you responded. And like, just to see people like this guy's obviously excited right now that he has somebody to talk to. Like, I got you, man. I don't know if he's going to say anything. I'm going to have to end it before he says something. It's going to be a long one. Yeah, he's still typing. Discord, by the way. Join the Discord, guys. Discord is such a good idea. I'm so happy. So you know how I'm supposed to be a guard on the world? Yeah. Okay, he's going to talk about our new Minecraft world. That's not very interesting, I guess. Anyways, guys. <clears throat> peace out. Have a great rest of your days, as always. Hopefully, we can continue growing this channel together. And yeah, I'll talk to you all later. It's been Smitty. Episode 14. It's been a lot of fun. Completely, like, free-versed. What are you, impromptu. That's what the speech kids call it. What am I going to be then? I got to go talk to Zaps. Peace out, everybody. One hour, two minutes. Have a great rest of your day. I salute you. Smitty salute uh, Discord thing. Have a great rest of your day, y'all. Goodbye.